You're probably familiar with the Illuminati, but secret societies have been around since the beginning of time, in different places, with secrets, intrigue, and plenty of mystery keeping them on the periphery of our consciousness. Do these secret societies really control our governments? Were the founding fathers and royals members of some of these clubs? The allure of secret societies is part mystery and part legend, and conspiracy theories have surrounded them for centuries, with rumors of groups like the Illuminati being linked with everything from the French Revolution to the assassination of JFK. But what is the reality of these secret societies? In today's episode, we'll be diving into the histories behind the most notorious and mysterious secret societies and the secrets they hold. But before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Number 1. Illuminati The Illuminati was established in Bavaria, Germany in 1776 by Professor Adam Weishaupt. Weishaupt began the organization in opposition to the powerful Catholic Church, sought to cast aside organized religion and introduce the new concept of illumination through reason. Inspired by the spread of the Enlightenment across Europe, Weishaupt drew inspiration from other organizations including the Freemasons, the Kabbalah, Jesuits of which he was a former member, and the Mysteries of the Seven Sages of Memphis. Weishaupt worked hard to recruit members especially from the Freemason society, even infiltrating Freemason lodges in his quest to bring some of the wealthiest and most influential men in Europe. Members of the Bavarian Illuminati, referred to as perfectibilists, were broken into three tiers of increasing power and drawn from societal elites, including noblemen like former Freemason Baron von Nigg and writer Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. The secrets of the Illuminati remain hidden with the use of ciphers and codes, and classical inspired nicknames for all members. Weishaupt, for example, was Spartacus. The organization flourished before being stamped out by Karl Theodore of Bavaria, who issued an edict making membership in the Illuminati punishable by death in 1787. But the death of the Bavarian Illuminati did not quell gossip about their clandestine activities. 2. The Freemasons Seemingly innocent and all about fraternal friendship, the Freemasons are perhaps the most famous secret society ever to have existed, with members grouped in lodges all over the world. What is it about the third Wednesday of every month that makes Squidward so happy? Psst. Squidward. Roger. Is that you? Tonight's the big night. <laughs> in fact, 13 of the 39 men who signed the US Constitution were Masons. Founding fathers like George Washington, James Monroe, Benjamin Franklin, John Hancock, and Paul Revere all counted themselves as members of the Fraternal Order. The exact origins of this fraternal organization are lost in time, though its widely believed modern Freemasonry evolved from guilds of actual practicing stonemasons who built castles and cathedrals in the Middle Ages. Brother Roger. Come right in, Brother Squidward. Thank you. Freemason lore takes things further with an allegorical origin story centered around Hiram Abiff, chief architect of Solomon's Temple, who, according to legend, was murdered after refusing to divulge the Master Mason's secrets. The organization was founded in 1717, and members argue it's not a religion. Although they are encouraged to believe in the existence of a supreme being known as the Grand Architect of the Universe, Masonic temples and secret rituals have brought them into conflict with the Catholic Church. The Church first condemned the Freemasons in 1738 and had gone on to issue around 20 decrees against them. In 1985, Roman Catholic bishops restated over 200 years' worth of these strictures in the face of an increased number of Catholics joining the order. But the Church wasn't their only enemy. The secrecy of the Masons garnered such distrust in early America that it inspired America's first third party, the Anti-Masonic Party. Let he among you who wishes to join the Lodge face your greatest fear. Cantankerous More Elias! Huh? 
Freemasons still exist today, and their public image has been greatly influenced by the high-profile charity work of the Shriners. A subset of Freemasons also known as the ancient Arabic order nobles of the Mystic Shrine. The Shriners were founded by Freemasons in 1870 at New York City's Knickerbocker College and continue their volunteer work today. I'll never forget my initiation ceremony. <laughs> During their highly esoteric initiation, a new Freemason is presented among his peers blindfolded with a noose around their neck, a trouser leg rolled up, and their left chest exposed. All rituals, however, around becoming a Freemason are shrouded in secrecy, but have entered the public imagination in film and TV and were even parodied on an episode of The Simpsons. <laughs> so long, suckers! The most recognizable symbol of the Freemasons is the square and compasses. The view of the all-seeing eye as a Masonic symbol has been sharply debated. Long before the Masons, Egyptians used the Eye of Horus, and the all-seeing eye appears repeatedly in Renaissance art as a symbol of Christianity and God's watchfulness. According to the George Washington Masonic National Memorial, the all-seeing eye is a Masonic symbol of the watchful care of the Supreme Architect began appearing in printed Masonic literature in the mid-1700s. 3. The Knights Templar The Knights Templar was disbanded hundreds of years ago, or was it? A feared and revered fighting force, the Order of the Knights Templar was formed in 1119 dedicated to protecting Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land during the Crusades. The force derived their name from their headquarters on the former site of Solomon's Temple in Jerusalem. The Templars grew in wealth and influence, becoming major power players in the medieval world and even establishing what is regarded as the first international banking system. The Cross of Lorraine is a double-barred cross that is featured prominently in the coat of arms of the Dukes of Lorraine. After Lorraine nobleman Godfrey de Bouillon became the King of Jerusalem during the First Crusade, the symbol became known as the Jerusalem Cross. When the Crusades came to an end after the fall of Acre, the Knights Templar withdrew to Paris, where they focused on their banking endeavors. On October 13, 1307, King Philip IV of France, whom the Knights Templar had denied additional loans, had a group of knights arrested and tortured until they made false confessions of depravity. In 1309, dozens of Knights Templar were burned at the stake for their alleged crimes. Legend tells us the Knights Templar were dissolved in 1312 due to pressure from the French crown. Conspiracy theories suggest the Knights Templar still has members guarding invaluable Christian artifacts such as the Shroud of Turin and the Holy Grail. And last but not least of the mysterious secret societies, Bilderberg. The 1954 Bilderberg meeting brought together some of the world's most powerful politicians from across Europe and North America. It was held at the Hotel de Bilderberg in the Netherlands, from which the organization gets its name. Initially, the meeting was organized to improve relations between Europe and America, among fears of growing anti-Americanism in Europe. Every year, about 120 to 140 people are invited, with about two-thirds coming from Europe and one-third from North America. Bilderberg's meetings are completely private, but not strictly secret, like the Illuminati or Freemasons. Bilderberg's high-profile attendees, previous guests, have included Bill Clinton, Margaret Thatcher, Angelina Merkel, Tony Blair, and Henry Kissinger. The level of secrecy surrounding the Bilderberg meeting has given rise to many rumors. Conspiracy theorists have painted the group as plotting a new world order with what major political decisions may have occurred at each Bilderberg get-together. Their official website maintains, thanks to the private nature of the meeting, the participants take part as individuals rather than in any official capacity, and hence are not bound by the convention of their office or by pre-agreed positions. What happens behind the closed doors of these secret societies has caused debate for centuries. But what is for sure is that they will continue to spark the imagination and curiosity of the public. If you liked our video, don't forget to subscribe and follow our channel for more videos like this one.